Have you been disappointed with the main battle tank in Conflict of Nations World War III? With the weaknesses to aircraft, huge debuffs in many terrains, and difficulty in transportation, many players have realized how much the NBT sucks. However, it's not all doom and gloom, for there is a solution. The Elite main battle tank. It's better in every way. All you have to do is pay. Join the Security Council, and during the right season, you just might get this incredible unit permanently. With soft kill threat elimination, incredible durability, and ease of transport, it's no wonder why people love this unit. Can you tame the beast that is the Elite MBT? This is War Always Changes, and I'm going to cover the basics of the Elite main battle tank in Conflict of Nations World War III. As stated in the intro, there is simply no hiding the fact that this thing is a direct upgrade over the Tech Tree MBT. It is faster, stronger, healthier, and has practically no weaknesses. In the early game, this unit is especially OP with the ability to air transport, massive slab of hit points, and high attack. My personal recommendation is to research the level 1 tank destroyer and go no further. This brings the research of the first Elite MBT to a little over 3,000 rare materials, which is well worth it. Using this method, you can only go to the level 3 Elite MBT, but this is still better than the level 7 Tech Tree tank, and you don't have to waste precious rare materials on useless units like TDs. Keep in mind, each doctrine has different bonuses for armor. Looking at these stats, we can see all of my claims verified, and we'll be using the Western units in this example. I will have the level 3 and level 4 Elite MBT in the stat comparison. Well, it's uh, better in every way that matters, but is much less cost effective per the cash attack ratio. Of course, cost effectiveness does not matter for most players in the mid to late game. What matters is having the most attack power and most HP packed into a single 10 stack. The 4% army attack bonus for armor is nice, but isn't at the officer level of course. The main limiting factor on most seasonal units is the limited mobilization of 10 at the max level, which isn't a huge deal in my opinion. This allows you to have two really beefy stacks or just one senselessly strong stack that cannot conquer territory. If you are like me and only go for the level 3 tanks, you are still better off than if you go for tech tree tanks. Being limited to 7 is unfortunate, but even just having 2 or 3 in a stack is going to be a huge help. Now it's time to offer my personal advice on how to effectively use this unit on the battlefield. 5 mechanized infantry and 5 elite tanks is a killer combo, with little that can stand in your way. Even low level nuclear and chemical missiles will not do much. If you can get an infantry officer, armored tank commander, 4 mechanized, and 4 elite tanks, you will have the ultimate ground stack that can tank just about anything and even destroy special forces. The best I ever put together personally was a high level infantry officer with 4 mechanized and 5 elite tanks. Boy was that a fun combo. Early game, the elite tank is such a joy and fighting level 1 infantry and scout vehicles with your elite tanks makes for a pretty easy fight. But through the natural process of war wariness, you will have to build new tanks, and that is quite the cost early and sometimes even mid-game. Well, I think I covered everything that needed talking about. Look forward to my future elite unit reviews and my upcoming season tier list. I've got a small Discord if you want to hang out and play custom games and events. If you want access to these spreadsheets and to support my content creation efforts, a link to my Patreon is below. I appreciate you sticking till the end. See ya!